grandma's got a clunk. To clarify for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm not talking about grandma. I'm talking about grandma, my singer 27 treadle from 1912. To be honest, she's always had a bit of a clunk. It's just how she rolls. She's an antique, so clunks are expected, aren't they? Apparently not. Things came to a head recently when her treadle belt broke, so I had to change it. After replacing the belt, I tried treadling grandma. Well, you have to test these things, don't you? Tim heard the clunk, asked me why I couldn't hear it. I said, I can hear it. Can you hear it? There it is. It's just grandma being a treadle. It's annoying, he said. I can fix that, he said. It'll take five minutes. And being a bit of a tinkerer, he decided that a clunky life didn't have to be in grandma's future or more importantly, in his earshot. I'm Ollie, this is Simply Stitchy, and this is how to fix a clunk on an antique Singer treadle sewing machine. First thing we're going to do is pull grandma apart. This is an adjustment screw. Take it out and turn it a few times to make sure it's loose. It might be seized. It needs to move so you can adjust the pedal. Seems to be moving okay. Pop some grease on it and then pop it back into the side of the pedal and adjust as necessary. Okay, so this video is going to be a bit like being at a disco. Tim's wearing his head torch. Head flashlight? Headlight. It's on his head and he's wobbling his head about. Got it. Needs to rock, but not knock. Now the Pitman arm has got a clunk. It's an epidemic of clunkiness. There's a screw at the base of the pitman arm. If you ask me, that's a really silly place to put it because now we're faced with a dilemma. Do we A, turn grandma upside down to get at it or B, take the band wheel off? And it means we're going to have to take this bit out again. Now we have to take the whole thing off. He sounds quite calm about that. Unflappable even. Did I mention he likes to tinker? See, look, see that? I can't from here, no, but I will take his word for it. Next thing to come off, the band wheel. Although technically it's the belt that needs to come off the wheel first, then the band wheel off the machine. Can't help thinking this would have been a lot easier if I'd have fixed the clunk before changing the belt. And then you wiggle it just a little bit, back and forth, and then back again.
Now, you could take the band wheel off at this point by undoing the bolts attaching it to the pitman arm. We didn't. Because reasons. Basically, it was wedged tight. This wheel has never been off this machine and I wouldn't let Tim hit it with a hammer. Ideally, it needs a good soak in some release oil, but that would have taken even longer than the five minutes we initially thought this would take. So we turned the band wheel and pitman arm upside down. So much easier than the whole machine. A lot lighter too. And there it is, the cause of all this chaos, the screw. Take it apart and give it a clean. Add a bit of grease. Technically this is a ball joint so grease will last longer than oil. Then put it back together. with a bit more grease on the connection point. Make sure that belt is on the right hand side of the band wheel when you reassemble it. the moment of truth and how to treadle with one hand. That sounds a lot better. If you enjoyed this video, why not like and subscribe? And why not check out the other videos on my channel using the links coming up on the screen any minute now or the ones I'll pop in the description box for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.